Life on an American dairy farm. The cows are quiet and curious. There's plenty of space to roam. There's no pungent smell. And the face of this farm might shatter some stereotypes about who the typical farmer is. My tagline right now in my bio is breaking barriers for women, dairy, and sustainability. Tara Vanderdusen is a fifth generation dairy farmer. This is actually my grandfather right here. Sharon. With roots tracing back to a dairy farm in the Netherlands and a social reach of more than 50,000 followers on Instagram and Facebook. She's part of a family run operation, like 98% of farms in the US. Her role focuses on the environmental sustainability of the dairy. All right, come on over, let's start the well. Critical work in drought stricken New Mexico as the climate crisis worsens and demand for food grows. She's just one of more than 1 million female producers in the US, driving $148 billion in agriculture sales, according to the US Census of Agriculture. But it also found that there's a growing trend of women who are entering the agriculture industry and playing a role in many decisions. It could be anything from land use to what type of crops are being planted to even keeping the financial records in check. So I love that women are getting more recognition no matter what their role is. We all have unique roles on our farm, whether it's driving the tractor or feeding the kids or taking meals out to the harvest crew, like everyone has their role. The studies suggest women aren't just filling these roles, but also innovating them sustainably. By saving water in the barn means you don't have to pump water from the ground, so it leaves water on the ground. Vanderdusen helped create a system where every gallon of water on the dairy is used four to five times. She shared this journey with her followers on Instagram. Of using the water, reusing the water, and then ultimately using it to grow coffee. And debunked misconceptions about the dairy industry. But some women find they have to sift through some sexist manure. And my husband actually was approached by a person who was selling something that had uh, to do with the environmental side of things, like our lagoon management. And my husband said, I'm sorry, I... I don't deal with that. That's actually not my area. My wife would be the person to talk to. And then if she wants to bring it up with the rest of the family, if we want to implement it, she will. And he said, no, 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 I want to talk to you. And he was like, no, I, like, I'm not going to talk to you about that. That's her area. Vanderdusen graduated magna cum laude with a degree in environmental science. Despite some setbacks, she says the needle is moving toward gender equality. Mm, good. This is on Elise. You want to say hi? Vanderdusen hopes to inspire her daughters, especially her eldest, who, at least for now, says she wants to be a vet for a dairy farm. I just hope that she doesn't face some of the sexism that I have faced, you know, uh, and I think that's probably a hope of lots of moms, of, you know, girl moms, is that you hope for things to be a little bit better, like leave it in a better spot than the way you got it. You can be a cowgirl too. Experts say that may be another reason behind the growth of women in ag interest in drawing connections to the communities they serve. Thanks everybody for joining. We got some really great questions from you guys, so I'm excited to share. And that path is changing the face of American agriculture. Lauren Magarino, Newsy.